we're talking hip hop at 50 and the milestone is being celebrated globally so it began somewhere in august and it's going to continue up until december so in ghana the genre's golden jubilee celebrations that hip hop at 50 is being celebrated with a number of activities so the celebrations um, is organized by culture curators of ghana and this is in conjunction with the ghana national museum and it aims among others to highlight the influence of hip-hop on the various Ghanaian music styles including high life and hip life and so um, one of the main activities to celebrate this milestone is an exhibition focused on jewelry and fashion in hip-hop culture and my guest is none other than Aretha Ama Safwa Kantanka she's curator for cultural curators hip-hop at 50 and she joins us to tell us what to expect greetings greetings Aretha greetings. so Thanks I for love having. love love your fit especially <laughs> Thank your you. ring this is also all made in ghana awesome <laughs> awesome stuff are we going to be seeing a lot of this um, during the exhibition yes the main part of the exhibition in jewelry is with eric craftsman okay. he's the only hip-hop jewelry designer in ghana he makes grills and stuff for people like stone boy yes, medical and all those you know oh major artists so and he's actually adding value to ghana's gold we like, so we, we, like, we, we like. call on Asante Hine and all those people to come and support and yeah. let him be just as major as the jewelry design is a multi-billion dollar business. Awesome. Well, this is like really <laughs> awesome. It's, it's, it's such a shame he couldn't make it better. Yes. He's working on the pieces for yes, the exhibition. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so Eric, we'll see you tomorrow. We love, love <laughs> yes. what you're doing. Okay, so Hip Hop Act 50. Um, and give us a brief, like, you know, background, okay. hip-hop at 50. Like, I know, I, 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 I don't know my hip-hop culture that much. I don't know the history. <laughs> you tell us. Well, you are a curator. I was born and raised in New York City, okay. where hip-hop started. It started okay. in the Bronx. And basically, this is the 50th anniversary of hip-hop. But since I'm also Ghanaian, yes, so I decided you. that the, what we're going to do is we're going to celebrate the 50 years of hip-hop, but we're going to focus on Ghana's influence and Ghana's you know, contribution with hip life, Azonto, and all that. Because right. most people don't really understand that Ghana is the country that really took African hip-hop to the world. And thanks to people like Reggie Rockstone, Talking Drums, yeah, One Love, yeah. the Kubo, all those Ambele as well. Yes. Yeah, and of course, he's as well. the yes, original, yes, original. Yes, yes, yes. We can't mention rap <laughs> yes, and not mention absolutely. his name. Okay, so, so w w what's the exhibition? What, what form is it going to take? Is it going to be like a three-day exhibition, a one-day mm -hmm. exhibition? Like, give us an idea of what to expect. Okay, the exhibition is basically, it started in August and is going to go throughout to December. And the okay. exhibition, it, you'll see archives of major artists like Public Enemy, Busta Rhymes, oh, wow. and all those people oh, who have been in Ghana okay. actually to perform. You'll see the clippings of them in there. You'll see um, like my cousin Eric Coptic Matlock. He's actually the producer. Okay. He produced Biggie Smalls and has a platinum plaque oh. inside the museum. So there's, a, there's so many things that from artists at home and abroad that they gave awesome to be stuff. part of the exhibition. And we're also working with Accra Art Week who, are, who have commissioned artwork, hip-hop artwork as well. Oh, wow, <laughs> sounds really, really exciting. So how about fashion? So what, what, what do we see um, new fashion designers? Do we see Ghanaian fashion designers? Who's going to be walking the, um, strutting the walkway, like all of that? Well, because we, uh, it's a museum thing, we decided to do something totally different. Okay. We're, we're talking, we're giving the fashion through the artists. Okay. Because in Ghana, when you talk about hip-hop fashion, it's actually the individual artists that have introduced their own style, like Reggie Rockstone, like the right. talking drums, wearing the batakari and the hoodie, right, right. and then One Love, who is a hip-hop artist, but his fashion style is beyond it's anyone everywhere. else. <laughs> he's everywhere. His fashion style is fluid. So we're going to do a fashion presentation with the artists themselves. Oh my God. And then we're going to have brands like 54 Kingdoms, which is a Ghanaian brand based out of the U.S., and oh also Shirt Kings, who actually made a, a special design for DJ Rab Bakri, who, who passed away, and also Virgil Abloh, who used to be the yes, creative yes, designer for Louis Vuitton, but he passed away. So they made special designs for them that we'll be showing as well. Awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. So are we going to be seeing like the man Reggie Rock himself yes. strutting the walkway? Yes. 
Oh my God, wow, wow. Okay, so where, where is this happening? Where? This is happening at the National Museum of Ghana. Okay. A lot of people, you know, since they opened, uh, we're trying to get people back into museum culture. And I must give credit to the, the director. He was absolutely amazing to allow us to have this. Everybody told me, oh, there's no way. There's no way he's going to make yeah. this happen, you know, because they see that as an old, stuffy institution. But this is the youngest director they've ever had. Awesome and he, stuff. Guess what? And look what and he's it's, doing. it's going to happen. <laughs> yes. Okay, what time does it begin? It starts from 3 to 9 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Tickets? Where do we get tickets? Yes. You can How go are the to... Tickets going for? Culture Curators, GH, on Instagram, and all the information is there. The only, it's free for everybody to come to enjoy the DJs and everything, but the, the exhibition, there's a V, this is the opening. Every month we do an opening. So the opening is a VIP that you pay 100 Ghana for. Okay, okay. And then we also have Republic, who, Republic Museum, who is also doing a, a special party inside the museum. Oh, special party. <laughs> I like that. It's going to, it's going to sound nice. Yes. Okay, so um, um, from where you stand and from all the experience that you've garnered along the way, in what ways do you think this exhibition can educate and sort of, you know, inspire and influence the younger generation um, in terms of um, our history and the significance of the hip-hop culture and how to tie it to it? Well, what I've, I've actually been very excited about this because, because other people have been excited, yes. you know, f yes. from the U.S., people like Public Enemy and, uh, you know, reposting. Big, big, and then in Ghana, too, there's so many young, talented people that just need a platform. That's it. And That's we're it. using this as a, a platform, and we hope to do fundraisers for the museum itself so that people like me who want to come and do exhibitions like this have the funding to do it and also for the education department that you know they have the funding to also be able because they're actually doing a really great job mm -hmm. if you go to the museum there's a kids corner there's oh you know there's a lot of things that they're trying to do okay. and there's, we're here to help there's something for everyone if yes you want to. Yeah. thank you thank you arita for thank coming so we're much. looking forward to tomorrow's yes. exhibition you guys are doing amazing and so it's happening thank tomorrow mm -hmm. at the national museum it begins mm -hmm. at 3 p.m and ends at 9 p.m if you want more information you go to culture curators the website that's where you can get more information but then mm -hmm. it's free for everybody mm -hmm. you know to do the fun stuff but then if you really want to go and see the exhibition it's a hundred ghana cities so that's some sort of VIP thing that um, they are doing and so if you want more information or you miss parts of this um, if you are creative and looking to meet more people and get those connections and the network this is the place to be 3 p.m. tomorrow the National Museum is hip hop at 50 and we are celebrating it here in Ghana we've had um, curator for cultural curators hip hop at 50 um, Aretha Ama Safo Kantanka she's mm. been our guest and she's been telling us about what to expect tomorrow so tomorrow Tomorrow, all roads lead to the National Museum, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you want to get into the exhibition area, it's a cool 100 Ghana cities, guys. And we were logging out of this segment. But there's more to look forward to. There are more conversations. There's a family meeting where we are going to be discussing all that we've been talking about over the past week. Um, there's a conversation with Adansi at 10. Guys, is a cocktail. And so we'll see you shortly after this break. Oh my G's, yeah. Oi.